All my black friends who have money said the same thing when Trump got elected. That's it, bro. I'm out. I'm leaving the country. You coming with us? Nah, I'm good, dog. I'm gonna stay here and get this tax break, see how it works out. <laughs> First time I got some money, it didn't work out like that. The most unlikely thing that happened ever was a black president came out of nowhere, like, come on, everybody, let's start thinking about everyone else. Oh, I just got this money! <laughs> I didn't even think it was possible. Dave Chappelle, one of the greatest stand-up comedians of all time, dropping the truth. You guys remember this. He was dropping truth bomb after truth bomb when it came to when it came to Donald Trump, especially on SNL. He's always been honest. This is somebody who, once again, is not a conservative, not a Republican. I don't know if you guys ever seen what he said about Candace Owens. So we know how he feels about the right. But when it comes to Donald Trump, he always breaks it down and he always puts it in a certain light. Even though he's a black man in America who a lot of people always want him to hate Donald Trump. They always want you to hate Donald Trump, right? But this time, he's breaking it down in a whole different matter. Now, I'm going to show you guys this specific part, which is the tax code, Hillary Clinton, the debates, the roasting from Donald Trump, the day a star was made. Listen to how Dave Chappelle breaks it down. You're also going to have some clips here from the actual debate. Ladies and gentlemen, I know you guys remember this. So let's go back to memory lane so we can head forward to 2024 because it's going to be crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, we're talking about someone who was arraigned, right? Who who was who, who indicted in Miami, in New York, and maybe up in Georgia. So listen to this, man. Let me know what you guys think about what Dave Chappelle has to say about Donald Trump. Here we go. And then Hillary Clinton tried to punch him in the taxes. She said, this man doesn't pay his taxes. He shot right back. That makes me smart. When he had to turn them over to state authorities when he was trying to get a casino license, and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero. And then he said, if you want me to pay my taxes, then change the tax code. But I know you won't because your friends and your donors enjoy the same tax breaks that I do. Hold on. Before we even move forward, hold on, hold on, hold on. That type of talk is, come on, I think a lot of people, don't, they don't understand why Donald Trump is so loved because you don't hear politicians keeping it 1,000 like that. You know you you had the chance to change the tax code. You Democrats be having the chance to do all of that, right? They waited for the Republicans now to get in the House and then complain about things that they could have controlled back when they had the House. But when she was... Well, she was, she could have changed it, right? They could have changed it, right? But they won't. They wouldn't. Why? Because they're donors and the people that they're controlled by. Uh, but I'm going to shut up. I'm going to shut up. But this, this is what makes him special because he's not a bought politician. He's not like someone just saying something that he was told to say. Let, let's, let's go back. Let's go back. Let me, let's focus. Let's focus. You know, license and they showed he didn't pay any federal income tax. So that makes if me he's smart. paid zero. And then he said, if you want me to pay my taxes, then change the tax code. But I know you won't because your friends and your donors enjoy the same tax breaks that I do. Secretary Clinton talks about people that didn't get paid. First of all, they did get paid a lot but taking advantage of the laws of the nation. Now, if you want to change the laws, you've been there a long time, change the laws. But I take advantage of the laws of the nation. And with that, my friends, the star was born. I will release my tax returns against my lawyer's wishes when she releases her 33,000 emails that have been deleted. As soon as she releases them, I will release, I will release my tax returns. And that's against my lawyers. They say, don't do it. So it's negotiable? It's not negotiable. No, let her release the email. Why did she delete 33,000 well, emails? He also, he also raised the issue of your emails. Do you want to respond to that? I do. You know, I made a mistake using a private email. That's for sure. Um, and if I had to do it over again, I would obviously do it differently. Um, but I'm not going to make any excuses. It was a mistake, and I take responsibility for that. That was more than a mistake. That was done purposely. Okay, that was. <laughs> oh, man, we got to get this guy back in the White House, dog. This guy is the realest. He's the realest. This is, this is what made him special. 
This right here, this back and forth, this shutting down, the sunning part. You my son. You I come here, kid. That type of talk. I mean, that's so New York to me. I don't even understand how New Yorkers don't get on this guy's side. They just let all the propaganda get to them. But this is the only guy actually keeping it real about America, about wars, about about the economy, about being energy independent, about all these propaganda. I mean, I can go on and on and on as to why I would vote for this guy. As to why is this guy getting so much hate? I mean, he's exposing someone that's corrupt. You want to talk about corruption? Look into the Clintons. He's keeping it 1,000. All right. I'm going to shut up once again. My God. Shout out Dave Chappelle, man. Shout out Dave Chappelle. Differently. Um, but I'm not going to make any excuses. It was a mistake. And I take responsibility for that. That was more than a mistake. That was done purposely. Okay? That was not a mistake. That was done purposely. When you have your staff taking the Fifth Amendment, taking the Fifth so they're not prosecuted. When you have the man that set up the illegal server taking the Fifth, I think it's disgraceful. And believe me, this country thinks it's disgraceful. It really thinks it's disgraceful also. Can fact check him, fact check, fact check him in real time. Last time at the first debate, we had millions of people uh, fact checking. So I expect we'll have millions more fact checking uh, because it's just awfully good that someone with the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's a classic, dog. Yeah, I can't believe he said that. Now, anybody, even if you're not even a Republican or Democrat, bro, like, <laughs> whatever you are, this is comedy gold, bro. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> With the temperament of Donald Trump is not in charge of the law in our country. Yeah. Because you'd be in jail. Secretary Clinton. <laughs> Mr. Trump, this year, Secretary Clinton became the first woman nominated for president by a major party. Earlier this month, you said she doesn't have, quote, a presidential look. She's standing here right now. What did you mean by that? Uh, she doesn't have the look. She doesn't have the stamina. I said she doesn't have the stamina. And I don't believe she does have the stamina. To be president of this country, you need tremendous stamina. The quote was, you I have, just don't think wait, she has wait a, a minute, presidential Wait a minute, you ask me a question. Did you ask me a question? Oh, man, what a classic. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to hit the like button. What a classic, dog. I mean, the, the way Dave Chappelle broke it down, and he said it, that it was the day that a star was born. The day that one of the greatest presidents, in my opinion, of all time was born. Say what you want, say what you will, but listen, man. He hit it right on the notch. So you guys let me know what you think about the tax cuts. Did you benefit from the tax cuts? Are you a benefiting factor from Donald Trump's policies, the economy? Talk to me. How was 2016 through 2020 before the pandemic? That's all I'm going to say. You tell you tell me, my friend. You tell me what you feel. i tell you how I feel, man. Ladies and gentlemen, make sure to like. Go to Rumble. We're on Two Strikes on YouTube. So once again, go to the Rumble. Go to the locals. It'll be down in the description box below and in the comments. Go click it. Go join. I love you guys. I'll see you guys next time. Let's go. Let's have a look at Chappelle's analysis of Trump on SNL. I'm watching the news now that declaring the end of the Trump era. Now, okay, I can see how in New York you might believe this is the end of his era. A lot of you don't understand why Trump was so popular, but I, I get it because I hear it every day. He's very loved. And the reason he's loved is because that first debate, I've never seen anything like it. I've never seen a white male billionaire screaming at the top of his lungs. This whole system is rigged, he said. <laughs> and across the stage was Hillary Clinton and Barack Obama sitting over there looking at him like, no, it's not. I said, now, wait a minute, bro. <laughs> it's what he said. And the moderator said, well, Mr. Trump, if in fact the system is rigged, as you suggest, what would be your evidence? You remember what he said, bro? He said, I know the system is rigged because I use it. I said, God damn. That's the moment that many of us acknowledged that something unusual was happening in American politics.